This is Mike. He showed up yesterday. He's giving us a hand here. He took us out for a fun dinner last night. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> an entertaining guy. He told us some good old bus stories. <laughs> How long you been bussing? 87. <laughs> what was your first bus? 4106, which I still have because I have everything I've ever had. <laughs> So how many buses do you have now? I have four. I have a 4106. That has a bad clutch. I have a 4104 with a 6V92 and an Allison 730. And I'm putting two record radiators in right now. I have an MC7 bone stock 1969 motorhome conversion. And a Grumman flexible transit bus with a 6V92 and a 730 that will eventually go in the 06. Which one's your favorite bus? My 4106, yeah. that was the first one. <laughs> this is a really good degreaser cleaner that uh, Mike loves using. And uh, they used to, he said it cleans everything real good. Degreasing, oil, dirt, dirt. Grease. But you don't want to leave it on aluminum. Very strong base. <laughs> This has always been an Achilles heel of a silver sides here, but they're variable pitch adjustable fan. So as the temperature would change, there's a little thermostatically controlled lever that would move in and out and change the pitch of the fan blade for more or less airflow. But this one has fallen apart. It's just, uh, everything's delaminating. You can see the layers of the aluminum just falling apart and it's just as brittle as can be. Tyler got hit with a big chunk of this when we had it running the other day. So we're taking it off for sure because it's going to go through the radiator and that's a $2,000 radiator if that happens. Um, Gene Russell's going to try to find us a fan to go on here, but the bolt pattern's a little different. The hub's also a little bit loose on there. Um, you can see the whole thing wiggling, hopefully. Um, but this is the this is the bad thing. This My fan came off my radiator on my bus, and about every 10,000 miles, I have to replace that bearing because it's bad. Uh, the pulley's bad. He's, they got the same issue here. One belt's tighter than the other. That, that's a kind of a good sign for it. Um, a lot of times people use a, a gear puller on that gear there, an outside puller that grabs that lip and it's just cast and it just breaks it apart. Um, I mean, that's all in not perfect shape, but I don't think it's gonna come apart. But uh, yeah, we gotta, we gotta take this off and find a new one. Um, we're working on it. We're getting, we're pulling rivets to remove everything on this upper portion up here. Um, see that's steel on the back side, but it's still aluminum that hooks in there and we're getting there, step by step. So here's a uh, 74 Caddy that's for sale. And uh, it runs and drives. It's got 59,000 miles on it. It's got the 500 in it there. Best motor ever made. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be careful closing it here. So you can get a hold of Jared if it's something that you're interested in, but it is a nice, clean car. It's a driver, 14 grand. With this red interior in it is just unbelievable. Obviously it's got the convertible top on it there. A little bit of wear on it right there, but it looks really nice. crack on that there. Wide angle on it here. I mean, that's just a beauty. They don't make them like that anymore. So that one's for sale. This, this T-Bird is sold. It was pretty sweet too. They uh, still have the factory plastic uh, seatbelt wrap covers on. He was saying they didn't have no kids. And how many miles were on this one? Twenty-nine. It was twenty-nine. Yeah, twenty-nine thousand miles. But that's sold. If you're into uh, Lincoln's. That's some good old American iron right there. 
It's a 56, 128,000 miles, 17 grand. Super nice interior. He was a, uh, this is the part of the collection of the guy that used to own the buses that passed away. So Jared's helping the family sell some of his vehicles. But, uh, I mean, it's a beautiful car. And then if you want something a little newer, this one's for sale. 1995, 64,000 miles. So, three nice ones for sale. That caddy's my favorite. Oh, here's under the hood of the Lincoln. I know. Well, <laughs> it doesn't take much to impress me. And tractors definitely do it. You got to tell you. Nice. Those were made by Athern. It's one of the at one of the model companies, and they uh, they do a nice job on that stuff. And, uh, Carl gave me a little Cena Cruiser model. Yeah. And what's really cool here? Here, grab that, Tyler. The Greyhound, the Art Deco bus station there. Yeah, I thought even if you're not into trains, you might you might if you ever get around to wanting to glue it together, you can make a little diorama. It's uh, got. Somehow, I'm not sure because I looked, but there's platforms in the back, so I'm sure there's some way you could set two that clippers. up. Two clippers. Yeah. Yeah, it's got two, two flexibles clippers. there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they didn't pay the money to license Greyhound's name on it, but we know what it is well, by looking at it. Well, that's what I was going to say. I, I, <laughs> I thought it said Greyhound until I dug it up, and I'm sure you're right because of that. That's what they, they didn't want to go through the hassle yep. <laughs> of getting a permission. But like you said, anybody that's in on the deal knows that's a Greyhound like station. So, yeah. That's cool. Thank you, Carl. So, anyhow. Doesn't like it. Gotta go bigger. Just drilling out the last bits of this uh, motor mount. We've got all this out already. Let's see where everything we had pulled off. These are all pulled out. This was the top of it. Every single one of those just pulled out. Pre existing. Only a couple rivets are holding it on. This one here, the race, the date on it, 1953. <laughs> so we got all new bearings and races going in. This is just all the parts that need to go back together. <laughs> Filter housing that we're going to go in, fuel filters, fuel lines, 
Everything's starting to get there. We got one more rivet and one more bolt. Nope. And there's... Rivet's done. Oh, yay. Good job, guys. I mean, good job, guys. I've done all of them. <laughs> that was the easiest one, though. <laughs> well, I would hope they get easier as we do more of them. Yeah? I've learned I'm not cut out for a 1940s <laughs> Greyhound body shop. <laughs> Get him some oil for that. Do we want to go? This is our radiator mount where the radiator hooks in. <laughs> I was wearing safety glasses for everybody. Okay. <laughs> I need a grinding disc. Sorry. Not even. <laughs> you lied to us. <laughs> so I said, I don't think it fits. Yeah, I see what you're saying now. Hey. Okay. You get a sawzall in there? Mm, we, yeah, we might be able to use that long bit one. Go grab my sawzall. Right here. safety equipment change for the saws are we still good oh, yeah, pass I, <laughs> I can flip that around so the handle goes the other way you want to flip it around yeah that might be easier here just hand it to me oh okay it's a little flip, it's a little tab on the other side. You have the red tab, you have to fold it up. Right there, here, here, hand it to me. Gotcha. There you go. You flip that up and then you. I mean, help hold that blade in there until you get it before you put the trigger. <laughs> Don't, don't turn it on now. Not a good angle. Holy shit. I'm going to cut the plate in half. <laughs> Can't come up anymore back there? Uh-uh. I'm against. Okay, let's start it at the beginning. Can it, is that as far back as it goes? Uh, maybe fingers.
Okay, we finally got that whole sucker out of here. A um, couple, couple things to still work on here, but uh, that's all going to get reinforced and go back in. I've got the, I've got the bumper swung open. Uh, yeah, there's the whole thing. That's the end piece. That's what we were fighting forever to get out. That part that was broke off. That's the main structure. We had to have this for the length and pattern and everything. So that actually goes under there. There. So what a pain in the butt. But it is off and going to the fab shop. Huh. <sighs>